Hey guys, I hope you're having a good night. And for those of you that joined me in my Discord tonight, thank you. That was actually really nice uh, for all of us to hang out there. Um, so I plan on streaming again. I'm going to do it again tomorrow night. So there's a three-part series. Two of them are about an hour long, and the last one is like 45 minutes long. So I want to do it all in one night. The thing that sucks, though, is I can't... I can only stream it. I can't record it and keep it up in the Discord. You know what I mean? So you have to be there to watch it. And a lot of people missed it tonight. So I'm going to start from the beginning because I also missed the first episode because, oh my God, I have such bad luck. So my son went missing for a bit. <sighs> Scared the shit out of me. So I was in and out of my house. I was running in the woods. I went around the block. I went to the park because this mother comes over here and says her kid's gone. And then, of course, I thought my kid was with her. So mine's gone. It went a mess. Anyways, we found the little bastards. They were in the woods, um, building a fort. It was a cute fort, but I was so mad. But then I was so relieved when I found them because I thought, you just never know, right? Like, I live in a small town and nothing that happens here, but you just never know. And when she came over all frightened, I'm like, holy crap. Anyways, so I did watch a little bit of it. I but barely. So I want to stream again tomorrow night. Um, seeing how it's probably, it's going to be about, like, if we watch all three, it'll be about three hours. I'm going to, I think we should start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That way it's early enough and then it won't be too late for everyone else. So we'll be done by like 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, so KJ, of course, the liar. She says that she doesn't like TikTok because of China and she's boycotting and blah, 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 blah. What do you know? Now she's got a TikTok. So I've got two clips that Lom Girl got of her on TikTok. Literally pestering Robert. Like she won't stop. She won't stop. She is now tagged law enforcement to get him arrested because the, the, the docuseries came out today. She's made it so that Miranda is getting some asshole comments and it's disgusting. It's disgusting. From what I did see, what's crazy from what I did see is I saw KJ's ugly mug for a second. You know who I did see though, who actually had a cameo was two women, two creators that we all know. One was Charlotte. The other was Janet B and Janet. Oh, trust and believe. That made me happy. They were sticking up for Miranda. KJ didn't even get that much. That you saw her face yapping, but you didn't hear what was coming out because they flashed right by her. But yet, Charlotte and Janet got cameos. Now that's got to be burning her bridges real bad. And I fucking love it for her. I think KJ is so pissed off because when I show you these, she's so fake so fake like she's rolling her eyes around acting like she knows everything and then she turns into a little bitch as usual which i'll show uh that would be from her youtube video i only have a clip of it that was basically the only part i wanted to show so i'm gonna shut up and stop, and stop talking let's watch this it's three minutes one of the hardest parts about doing a series like this for Netflix is knowing that by telling the story of the victims, we're going to be giving space and a platform to a man that maybe doesn't deserve it, Robert Chin. The other part that's really challenging is that some people might start to leave nasty comments on the dancers that are still involved in the group. And she's smiling about this. She knows what the fuck she's doing. She's been trashing Miranda forever. She's hoping for this. Well, thanks, KJ, because it happened. They're leaving nasty comments on Miranda's, uh, all of her um, platforms. Like, what the fuck? And we have to remember that even though they're still in a group and they're still involved with this shady, shady dude back here. The only thing that's shady is her fucking eyeballs. I have never once seen any creator ever in my life roll their eyes like her. She's a full-blown lying narcissistic prick. I mean... She sat there and lied about why she's not on camera. First, she says it's COVID. Then she says it's fucking, oh, a big, um, what was it? Uh, ingrown eyebrow hair. When in actuality, it was a goddamn whisker. Then she says it was from a staph infection after bitching about it, saying it wasn't a staph infection. So she goes off, she went out. That's why she was off camera. Then she came back on during that little interview, that little escapade she had where she thought she was going to be cool and go on the Fox interview when she got her ass called out. Then went back off camera because she picked at her goddamn sore again. So the, you know what her excuse is now? I was scared. I was afraid. You're such a liar. Your face is infected, full bone, blown infected. You need to go see a doctor. But no, you want to use telehealth so you can keep using your Addies, keep drinking and not get caught. 
Like, I would be embarrassed to go on camera with a full-blown infection as well. With that fucking hairline, that shim and bulbous nose, uh-uh, I would not be on camera whatsoever. They are victims. So if you're going to engage on their um, platforms, don't leave them nasty comments. Don't be mean. Yeah, leave that to Katie, guys. Don't tell them that they're brainwashed. Certainly don't remind them that he's a creep because they don't even really monitor their own social media and robert's wife is their manager hannah and she and her friend the one that you attacked the other night you literally abused her verbally mentally i'm i'm surprised it wasn't even physically if you could go through that film you would what you did the other night was disgusting and don't worry bitch i sent it all to 7m and their lawyers and surely are probably going to be deleting the comments anyway. And by going to their pages, honestly, you're just giving him money. Every time you watch one of their videos, he's making money. Not them, not the dancers, but Robert. So reconsider following them. In fact, don't follow them. And if you're following them, maybe unfollow them. Because Robert here, in my opinion, only cares about money. And the less money that Robert makes the bigger impact this series will have on him. Look at that face. Three. That is a face of an absolute soulless, disgusting, vile, narcissistic prick. She has dead eyes. The reason why it's so urgent for any woman that's still trapped inside of the cult of 7M or Shekinah Church Sorry, don't keep interrupting. I don't know why the hell she's even doing TikTok. I do have screenshots of her getting laughed off of there again. They're all like, what? you tried this the first time, you ain't coming back on TikTok. You're not wanted on TikTok. You must love the comments that you get because it's hilarious. Like Miranda Wilking or Kendra or Coco Shuffles, those are three dancers I can think of off the top of my head that are still involved, is because the longer they're in, the more at risk they are. These three women, Shirley in the back, Chrissy, who is the CPA, and Hannah, who is his legal wife, when you abuse, you are, joined the cult when they were young. Shirley was just out of high school when she met Robert Chin and was groomed to be his lawyer. She actually was his wife. Um, how do you groom someone to be his lawyer? What are you even... What? That doesn't even make sense. In 2009 and 10, he then divorced her for Hannah. The one Hannah joined when she was also in their early, like late teens, early 20s. Each one of these women plays a vital role in his scheme. Shirley is the lawyer, and she signs all the legal documents and drafts all the business agreements. Miss Chrissy, she is his CPA and does all the taxes for the members and helps him move the money around. And Hannah, as the manager and the mentor of the women, she's the brute, and she's known to get physical. And actually, wow. Priscilla in the series accused Hannah of violence and attacking her when she left in May of 2022. The longer Miranda's in, the more likely she will be preyed on and become a victim of not only his cult, but of also what he, the essay that he allegedly does. The essay that he allegedly does. What the fuck are you talking about? And you know what? She just, by her mouth opening and speaking, she's putting Miranda in danger. They're already attacking her. Not as bad as I thought it would be because it's KJ. Nobody likes her. Nobody believes her. This one won't play for some damn reason, but listen to this crap. Oh, shit. No, why do they do that? This one won't work either. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Don't have any more. Apparently not. That sucks. I shared them purposely to watch them, but I can't except for this one. Sorry, I'll try and refresh it. This is the one I really wanted to show you. Damn it. Okay. Well, I'll show you my screenshots then, because apparently that's not going to work for me. <laughs> okay, I have a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh, my God. I'm just going to start... Uh, here, we'll start here. I share the legal fight that endured while helping to work on the series. The smear campaign and financial toll of battling Robert Shin nearly broke me mentally, but I refused to settle with a bully. Bitch, please. You tried to settle. He told you no. 
I fucking hate lawyers. Hate them. And I will call her ass out until the day I die. My legal fight with a TikTok cult leader almost broke me. I got sued for working on new docuseries on Netflix. No, you got sued for running your mouth and telling lies about him. You said he water murdered people. You said he was human and sex trafficking people. You said he abused people sexually and abused people verbally, mentally, physically. Yeah, you did. Beyond other things, I can't even begin to remember because there was so much shit. Like, you're being sued because of you, not because of you being in Netflix. Like... Please be mindful that the last time this story went viral, a woman in the cult was physically assaulted for speaking up and informing others about Robert's crimes, leaving negative comments on any of the dancers' Instagrams, will and can contribute to them becoming a target of violence by Robert or his mentors. Please remember that they are victims. Then why the fuck are you sending, telling people to unsubscribe, to unfollow? Like, what are you doing here? And you have sent people to Miranda. Yes, you have. You have bullied her and abused her for two years. You're disgusting. The negative comments are not being deleted from Miranda's Instagram page, which is very strange. You want to know why? Because she ain't you. She probably can handle a few negative comments and could take it on a, like on her chin, like a normal person, unlike you. It says, honor your father and your mother. Ask Pastor Rob about that commandment. You shall not make, what the hell is that? Oh, idols. Please run. For money and fame, they chose to be blind and scam sad people. I unsubscribed from her account. It's horrible what she does to her family for her religion. I no longer care to watch an art and a passion dance for me, for me with a similar mentality. KG's telling these people to go there and say these things and unsubscribe for them. It's gross. She's a victim. Brainwashing and manipulation can be so powerful. You don't realize it's happening until you get out of the situation. And that's something that can be so hard to get out of. Same as abusive relationships. Following dancers' accounts only helps Robert for your information. Like the, the balls of this woman. The pure audacity of her to go around and keep posting and run in her fucking mouth. And you wonder why you get sued. I'm sorry, girl, but this one ain't going away. Not as far as I'm concerned, because I ain't going to stop reporting your ass. Neither is anyone else. I got a push notification because I follow you. Well, did you watch it? Are you just trying to be mean-spirited towards people who have already gone through enough? You guys should make a statement because the amount of mean-spirited comments Miranda is getting on her post is crazy. Some are downright taunting, hateful, and bullying. You should care that you don't advocate that. <sighs> Whoa, so wrong. Shame on you. Poor little soul. You parents miss you. Walk away. In fact, run. How would anyone allow themselves to be so trashed? The bottom, it says, welcome to the conversation. When commenting, please treat other with respect. Well, thanks to KJ, nobody's going to be respectful. This is a public service announcement, announcement to be kind to the dancers still trapped inside the cult. They are victims and they don't deserve hate. You fucking pushed everyone to them, KJ. You can't say something and turn around and play victim and act like an advocate when you're not. Robert loves the algorithm and he knows all comments increase engagement. Yeah, you do too, idiot. That's why you do it. The best way to impact Robert is not watching the videos with the dancers. Unfollowing them is also an opinion. What? Unfollowing them is an opinion. Really? You telling people what to do is Tori's interference, just so you know. Of course, I cannot interfere in Robert's business. You already have. That's why you're being sued. Remember Spanx? Remember the Clippers? Among many of them? Yeah. But the dancers don't control their social media. Their comments, DMs, and posts are controlled by their managers and mentors. They will delete and block you. Engage with this group, in my opinion, is extremely dangerous. So remember that. There are people still trapped. And it's Robert that is the bad guy, not the dancers. Follow them is making Robert wealthy. The dancers are living on tiny allowances in housing via the church and monitored constantly. Robert, of course, will deny everything. And he will deny the audio. He is even him. That's just Robert. You can't even prove it's him. None of you can. And it doesn't even sound like him. Again, you're lying. So now Gypsy Christy is sending you info to use to you to speak on their behalf like they have done with that Brie, girl Brie. You think I'm new? Brie is new. I've been friends with Christy for five years. I never post here. I will 100% post facts when Nina outright lies. <laughs> Sorry, these are a little all over the place, but they're the newest ones I got. I try not to miss anything. Dean Wilking has never removed his posts about Miranda and her involvement in an alleged cult, despite Robert Shin trying to force the Wilkins to remove them through their meetings with Miranda. So this is apparently a screenshot of the father talking to his daughter, Miranda. Just saying, hello, give us a call when you can. Yeah. Then at the top here says, you have to accept that 
let Katie Joy go, Joy go after the church or the Shins, but make it known she can't come after your daughter. Ding, ding. Okay, maybe I'm getting sour here. But all I'm thinking while watching this doc is, oh yeah, America again. The obsession with religion seems to be so huge that I feel by now any potential cult leader can just stand up and decide to create a new cult within, say, a few years' time or so and actually succeed. Anyway, I came to the comment section while watching this documentary, but half of what I read is about Katie Joy, which I've never heard of before. Exposing 7M. Stop culting. Couldn't have done this without you. It's time to put on the pressure and work and get the law enforcement to act in my opinion. What the fuck? You're stupid. You already tagged law enforcement. So why are you saying in my opinion? Oh, look, guys, there's her little, little name. It says Katie Joy. <laughs> Thoughts after watching this series. Notice how none of them are posting today? Their social media is not controlled by them. They cannot do anything without their mentor's permission. Their comments and DMs are monitored. Hannah Shin monitors all of the women's emails, texts, and socials. So it's the leaders doing this, not the dancers. The dancers are victims. Like, I love how you think you know everything when you actually don't. I cannot speak for the family, but I will say that it would be helpful that people not leave negative comments on the dancer's social media. They are victims and don't control their socials. You know why she's doing that? It's because she's already fucked up. She's already sent people to Miranda and all of them that's still in there. She's already sent them. They've already bitched at them and caused a lot of harm. So now she's trying to make it look like she's innocent here and never did that thing. But she did. Wow. I just watched... The Netflix 7M doc. I've been following this story since you started covering it. As someone who has been following the whole time, I was completely blown away. People are getting exposure for the first time are going to, I don't know what that emoji is. Looks like their brain is coming out of their head. <clears throat> this was so incredibly well done. It was powerful and extremely emotional. Thank you for doing the work that you do. Well, it's insane to me that this man is not yet imprisoned. I hope this finally is not yet, is, sorry, what is insane to me is that this man is not yet imprisoned. I hope this is finally the catalyst needed to end Robert for good and get these talented, wonderful people back with their families. One question I do have, and I always find your thoughts and opinions valuable. Was there any concern about the backlash still in the cult could face because of this being released? Or are Reno's parents, the Wilkins, worried that this will cause contact, all contact that will be lost? Well, for me to answer that question, I say you guys done fucked up because she just ruined it for them. I wouldn't want to talk to my parents either. Hell no. When Robert Shin's daughter, Chloe Shin, and her husband, Daniel Joseph, left the church, he flipped out during service. Audio from a sermon, which is included in Dancing from the Devil, depicts a furious Robert launching a verbal assault on them. When you guys hear this audio, it's not even him. He yells, who gives an F? Nobody's going to remember you. This towards his daughter-in-law and son. Sorry, his daughter and son-in-law. They always say that every accusation of a narcissist is a confession. Therefore, Robert, nobody's going to remember you. Girl, you're the narcissist. You really are. That's right. One day, no one will remember you, Robert Shin. Who gives enough? Nobody remembers you. <laughs> You're pathetic. I can't remember why I took a screenshot of this. Oh, because look what she says. Always investigating and seeking the truth behind every story. Profile and reporting a scene in Netflix, Dancing for the Devil. Wow. Sad and angry and trying to understand why Robert Shin is not in jail. Look at She tagged LA office. Why isn't Robert Shin arrested yet? I'm pretty sure there are three women that have reported him for S crimes. Which have been thrown out because there was no evidence. What are you talking about? It's done and over with. Like, that was, what, two years ago? Hey, LA office. Three women filed charges against Robert Shin. You have the file. Why haven't you charged him? Why isn't this man in jail? I watched the series and cried. Justice needs to be served. Wow. Sad and angry, proud of former members and families is B-Dash a recruiter. Only de facto, Isaiah is the recruiter and he is Robert's son. He met James while working as a videographer at a dance studio. Isaiah then grooms James to invite his friends. Isaiah is being sued for his role as a recruiter. Really, Katie? Where's your fucking proof? This is going to be my thumbnail. That's a girl who has dead eyes. That is a fucking psychopath. A narcissistic psychopath. That's what that is. She looks fucking nuts. Look at her bulbous nose and her chin. Her infected face. Her fucking hairline. Like, I wouldn't go on camera either. Anyways, I'm done bitching. <laughs> I had a long day. Anyways, I will leave my Discord link in the description for you guys if you want to join me tomorrow. I'm going to try and go on my Discord more often when we can watch movies and stuff. Because I am a huge movie buff. And I don't really have anyone to watch movies with. My son's only 13, right? So he likes what he likes. And I love my horror movies. And he gets scared. Um... So I don't really get to watch my kind of movies with him. Like, I still watch movies with him, but just not, like, horror genre. 
So hopefully, and like paranormal and stuff like that. Like he's scared. He doesn't like to watch that. So I would never put that on. We rather like we watch funny movies and stuff like that. That's usually our go to is comedy. Anyways, I'll be have a good night. I'll leave my discord in the description so you guys can join. Even if you don't want to be there for tomorrow and watch the um, docuseries. I plan on playing all three of them. Like I said, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you there. And then uh, eventually I'm going to keep coming in more so we can watch movies and stuff together. Because I've like I honestly I am my favorite person for movie picking. <laughs> I'm going to brag about that. I have the best picker for movies. I swear to God. Anyways, you guys have a great night. Bye.